Today we'll be replacing a power steering pump. Uh, I'll be doing this on a 97 Maxima, but essentially it's the same process uh, regardless on the kind of vehicle you have. Uh, you have a couple of fasteners that attaches the pump to the motor, a few hoses that you need to remove, and uh, you just swap out the old one for the new one. Okay, now on the Maxima, the power steering pump is located on the passenger side of the car. Easiest way to get to it is jack up the car, remove the wheel, and the access will be uh, much, much better. Uh, that being said, if you're lucky enough that your power steering pump is up here in, in front of the car, this job will be a lot easier. But on the Maximas and other vehicles, it's on the side. Uh, just give yourself enough time. It's not a difficult job, but it's time-consuming, time especially if it's your first time doing this. Uh, you also have a, a few hoses. Here's one hose that runs to the pump. And for Maxima guys, this is a 24 millimeter uh, nut right here. And then you have a, another line that runs right here to the power steering reservoir. Now we need to remove the fluid, the power steering fluid out of the reservoir. And if you don't have a uh, turkey baster, what I've used in the past is get yourself a squeegee they have lying around the house and just go ahead insert it into the reservoir to pump out all the fluid once you've done that then we can move to the next step okay I'm not lucky enough to have any air tools so everything I have are just basic hand tools and when I remove a lug nut I use the lug nut wrench that comes with the vehicle and a big piece of piping uh, this is a 1 by 24 inch piece of pipe and essentially I place the pipe over the lug nut wrench that way you give yourself a lot of extra leverage uh, to remove these lug nuts because they can be pretty tight and that being said you don't kill your hands and you don't kill your back. Okay, now to get to the power steering pump, we need to remove this splash guard right here. Alright, so as you can see there are two drive belts here. This car does not have a serpentine belt. In other words, there is not one belt that runs everything. This has two separate belts. And the power steering belt is this guy right here. Uh, give you an idea where it is. Right here. This is where the power steering pump is right here. This is the guy we gotta take off. So to do that obviously we have to remove this belt, which is behind this belt right here. So in order to loosen this guy up and remove it on top let me get a screwdriver alright on top right here this is the uh, <coughs> locking nut for the tensioner so we need to remove or loosen this nut right here and then back this guy off and that will loosen up the, uh, that first drive belt alright that's done and then we'll back this guy off Alrighty. 
And when you remove the belt, just check it for cracks. Make sure it's in uh, pretty good shape. This belt is only about a year old, uh, so I know it's in. Oops, so I know it's in decent shape, but just check for cracks. And make sure that the belt looks okay. All right. Next up is we need to remove the power steering pulley. I'm sorry, power steering belt. And to do that, you have to loosen up the tensioner, which is the tensioner is right here. That guy right there. But before you do that, you need to loosen up the lock nut. Which is, it's a, it's a little hard to get on the video, but right there, that's your lock nut. Now again, for those of you that have a serpentine belt, you don't have to really worry about this. But uh, for anyone doing these on the, uh, on the older Maximus, again this is a 97, is what you have to do. So, so you want to loosen up this lock nut right here. Once you've done that, go ahead and loosen up the tensioner. Now with this tensioner, it's reverse threads, so you have to tighten it to loosen the belt. So turn it clockwise to loosen the belt. If you turn it counterclockwise, then you're going to tighten it up. So it's reverse threads, so just remember about that. And for those of you that are doing this on a Maxima, this is a 12 mil, 12 mil millimeter bolt. So just loosen it up a little bit. Now we can loosen up this tensioner right here. The power steering pump has two lines. There's a high pressure line, which is this guy right here, and there's a low pressure line that goes into the power steering reservoir, which is this guy right here. For me, it's easier if I remove the lines up here rather than on the pump itself. Uh, that's just the way I prefer to do it. Uh, you can do either way. You can remove the lines at the pump itself, but for me, I'm going to remove the high pressure line right here. Uh, and the other line running into the reservoir right here and then I'll just snake it out when uh, when I remove the pump and for this I'll use a uh, breaker bar Make sure you put a drain pan underneath the car because when this hose comes out, any leftover fluid will come right out of the reservoir. Now for those of you that rather remove the hoses from the pump itself rather than remove the hoses from on top of the motor, you can do either way really. Uh, I just prefer from up, removing the hoses from up top. But if you rather remove it from underneath, you can do that. Now the first hose is held on by this little clamp. That's a 10 millimeter. Just get yourself a ratchet and remove that, no big deal. Now for the second hose, that is a 24 millimeter nut. And uh, what I'll use is a three quarters 
inch drive along with a 24 millimeter socket get a good grip on it now this is a breaker bar it's it's a I'll give you a shot from when I get out out underneath the car but what obviously we want to do you need a lot of leverage let me give you a shot from what it looks like from outside now just to give you an idea this is how large this breaker bar is and the point behind it is you want to give yourself a lot of leverage because that nut can be on very very tightly now in this case I'm going to remove the pulley from the pump just because it's very confined in here and the way you do this just get yourself a wrench in this case it's 19 millimeters place it over the nut and then to prevent the pulley from moving get yourself a screwdriver place it through one of the holes on the pulley and then I can't do it right now because I have the camera in my hand but essentially while you're holding the screwdriver move the, the wrench to loosen it up as you can see I already loosened it so hold the screwdriver and loosen up the, the nut and then we'll take this guy off don't forget the washer and off comes the pulley All right, now this is looking up toward the motor. Right here is your power steering pump, and we have a fastener. This is a 14 mil. We need to remove this fastener to remove the pump. Alright, so now we get two things. We can either remove this nut or you have two. These two right here you can also remove. Uh, in this case right now I'm just going to remove this just because I have, I have a whole new unit including the tensioner. Uh, but if you don't want to do that you can also remove these two nuts up here. Let's go ahead, snake it out. All right, when you reinstall your pump, just reconnect all your hoses. And I found out in this case, it is a lot easier to reinstall the pump without the pulley on and without either hose on. We have one hose here and we have the other guy right here, the high, the high pressure. Everything's bolted up, so now I'm just reinstalling everything. So check your application. Uh, sometimes it's easier just to keep the hoses attached, but in this case, to, re to reinstall the power steering pump is easier just to uh, just do it this way. All right, so we have the two lines hooked up again, and reinstalled the pulley. Alright, once you have your belt back on, make sure you retighten your lock nut. Yeah. Once you finish with the power steering belt, go ahead and tighten up your main drive belt.
once you wrap up with the main drive belt, don't forget to tighten up the locking nut. And now we'll reinstall the splash guard. Go ahead and reinstall the wheel. Let's double check our hoses and make sure everything is nice and tight. Okay, once you wrap that up, then you need to refill the power steering reservoir. And as you can see, I've already done that. And now we need to bleed the system. Now from underneath the car, what we need to do is get both wheels off the ground. And to do that, uh, you have a, if you look in the front of your car, you have a uh, a jacking point which is part of the metal frame what you need to do is jack up the car and get the wheels off the ground go ahead and jack it all the way up Now once the car is jacked up, what we're going to do is start the car and then turn the steering wheel left and right, left and right a few times and this will bleed out the system. 